Hello everybody, welcome to the third part of the video series about GD extension. Uh, in this video, we are going to build our library with help of SCAN. This is our project which we created in the first video. So now let's go to the folder GD extension. In this folder, I added a SRC folder which contained my CPP file. Here also I created a class which is called test and it's inherit uh, node 3D. We will explain about C++ stuff in later video, but in this video we are going to concentrate about how to, to build our shade library. And also in this folder, I created a construct uh, script. Before looking at this construct file, let's take a look at uh, Goda's CPP construct file. As you can see, uh, here they did a lot of stuff and also they created an environment. At last, what they did, they returned that environment. This means that we can use this script to use in our sconstruct file. What we are going to do, first I'm going to import the environment that has been created in Goda CPP sconstruct file. I import this environment with a function which is called scan script and here I put the goda cpp pass scan struct file and at last I put this return value inside a variable which is called environment so now if I run scans dash h which show the help text for the scans you can see we have all of those built option which goda cpp scans had we can define for example platform target and, and many other options so, if you want to add an include path to this environment, you should use append function with capital A. So basically, you write your environment and then append function, and then you say which variable you want to append to and the value that you want to append. In this case, I want to append src folder to my cpp path, which is the include path. So, if you want to add library or library path, you can use the same method. So now we are going to grab all of those CPP files which are in my SRC folder. And we are using a function which is called globe. Uh, basically, you write your folder, a star and dot CPP. And this is going to grab all of the CPP files and put them inside this variable which is called SRC. We can also use environment variable to modify our build. For example, I can use environment platform variable to build a cross-platform shared library. So here I can specify for each platform what modification should be done for the build system. For example, here I specify for the build of Linux, Windows or Android. There are other platforms also. So my platform is Linux. So here I start to create my shell library. First, I'm going to specify the name of the shell library. Double double slash means that I want to create my library in the parent folder respect to this folder. Then I write the name of the library. And here I want to add some variable to name of my library. The first one is the specification for the platform and architecture. And the second one is the extension of my library, which in Linux is .so and in Windows is .dll. Then I use format function. The specification about platform and architecture is stored inside a variable which named is suffix. This variable has been created in Goda CPP as construct file. The second variable is the extension of our library. This extension is automatically determined by the scans program and is stored inside a variable called shlib suffix. Next, we create our shell library and store the output inside the variable. Now we need to specify another function inside the scans, which is called default. Default tells scans that by default, when you run scans, build this library. And we are done. Now let's test if scans work. Sorry, I forgot something very important. You should build this library with this environment. So you should add this environment here. Now let's run a scan. Okay, as you can see, our library has been built, but actually it cannot do anything because the class that we have been created is unknown to Godot. 
and we should register our class which we do in the later video but I want to do another thing and I want to set up my project inside a code editor I use Visual Studio Code but if you use other code editor you should do similar thing there are three include paths inside Go.cpp that should be included GD extension include folder and gen folder which is inside that there is a folder which is called include so these three folders should be included in include path also please note that the gen folder is generated after we build this go.cpp so here i open my visual studio code open a cpp file and under here you can find c++ configuration but please note you should install c++ extension first configuration ui and down here you should specify these three include path and then you are good to go so i hope this video helped you please if you have any question write it down in a comment section and have a good day